Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, troubleshooting IPv4 ACLs. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get my future uploading video info directly into our Gmail, consider subscribe. Coming back to our activities, here we can see our addressing table. Also, here we can see objectives. Uh, we got three part, part one, part two, part three. And we are going to troubleshoot ACL issues one, two, and three. We will go through the scenario of this packet tracer activity. Uh, this network is uh, meant to have the following three policies implemented. We can see those. Hosts from the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network are unable to access any TCP service of server three. Hosts from the 10.0.0.0/8 network are unable to access the HTTP service of server 1, and hosts from the 172.16.0.0/16 network are unable to access the FTP service of server 2. These are the three policies implemented in this activity. Uh, they given a note here: all FTP usernames and passwords are Cisco. No other restrictions should be in place. Unfortunately, the rules that have been implemented are not working correctly. So our task is to find and fix the errors related to the access list on R1. Now we will come to part 1. Troubleshoot ACL issue 1. Hosts from the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network are intentionally unable to access any TCP service of server 3 but should not be otherwise restricted. Now we will come to step 1. Determine the ACL problem. As you perform the following task, compare the results to what you would expect from the ACL. Coming to A. Using L2, attempt to access FTP and HTTP services of server 1, server 2 and server 3. Here is our L2. First of all, we will get the IP address of uh, server 1. Here we can see that. Coming to desktop, we'll get the browser and we'll try to access the web page. We are waiting for the web page. Here we can see it's a request timed out. Now we will try to access uh, the server 2 web page. Yes, we are getting the web page uh, from server 2. Now we will try server 3. We are waiting for the web page from server 3. No, here we are not getting the web page or request timed out. Now we will try to access the FTP service from this uh, device L2 to these uh, servers. First of all, we will get the IP address of server 1. Coming to L2, command prompt, here we are going to give FTP, trying to connect, error opening, packet tracer, no it's not working, so we will try server 2, FTP, here is the address. Yes, it's coming. Username Cisco, password Cisco. Yes, we able to access FTP from server 2. Now we'll try to access uh, from ser uh, server 3. FTP to server 3. Trying to connect. No, we are unable to connect. Hence, here we have seen this device L2 is able to access the services FTP and HTTP only from the server 2, but not from server 1 and server 3. Now we will come to B. Using L2, ping server 1, server 2 and server 3. We will do that. Coming to L2, command prompt. First of all, we will get the IP address of server 1. And we will uh, ping ping to server 1 here we can see destination host unreachable now we will get the IP address of server 2 
ping to server 2 we are getting the replay now we will try to server 3 ping to server 3 destination host unreachable coming to C using L2 ping G0 slash 2 of R1 we will get the IP address of this interface G0 slash uh, 2 from R1 here we can see that we will copy this coming to L2 command prompt ping to the interface specified here we are getting destination host unreachable coming to our topology we will see where is this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 uh, on this router r1 we will check this interface yes here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 here we unable to ping from this uh, device l2 uh, to this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 on this router r1 now we will come to d View the running configuration on R1, examine access list 192 underscore 2 underscore 10 and its placement on the interfaces. Is the access list placed on the correct interface and in the correct direction? Is there any statement in the list that permits or denies traffic to other networks? Are the statements in the correct order? We will check these informations. Now we will come to the router R1. Here we are going to give the show command, show running config and we will verify the details. And so uh, here we can see uh, IP access list extended 192 underscore 2 underscore 10. Deny TCP, here we can see the network address then the wildcard bits and the host here we can see uh, here uh, we are going to deny uh, this network to access uh, this uh, server 3 here we can see we are going to deny this uh, uh, TCP service of uh, this server 3 so uh, this line is correct also we will see the direction here uh, coming to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 here we can see that IP access group uh, 192 underscore 2 underscore uh, 10 uh, inbound. It's correct. Again, coming back to our uh, access list, uh, here we can see uh, they given a deny uh, TCP here so that there will be uh, an implicit deny any here. Hence, we have to add a permit IP any any to this ACL. Coming to E, perform other tests as necessary. Anyway, not track away. Now we will come to step two. Implement a solution. Make an adjustment to access list 192 underscore 2 underscore 10 to fix the problem. Right, we will do that. Now coming to the router R1. Here we will give a command to show IP access list and here we can see the details so after this line we have to add this permit IP any any so we have to give a number bigger than this number All right so we will go to configure terminal IP access list here we can see it's an extended so here we have to give extended and now we have to give the name we will copy this name right now we are going to give a sequence number here all the uh, we can see the number 10 now we will give other number uh, greater than 10 better we will give it 20 and we will uh, permit IP any any coming to step 3 verify that the problem is resolved and to document the solution if the problem is resolved document the solution otherwise uh, return to step 1 right so we will uh, test from l2 we will try to access uh, the web page from server 1 and server 2 anyway previously we got from server 2 we will test from a server uh, we will test to server 1 we are getting the web page now we will uh, try to server 2 
we are getting the web page now we'll try to server 3 here we can see we are not getting now we will try to ping from uh, uh, this uh, device l2 to these servers we to go to command prompt we get the ip address of server 1 ping to server 1 here we can see we are getting the replay now we'll go to server 2 ping to server 2 we are getting the replay we will try to server 3 also ping to server 3 yes we are getting the replay now we will try to access uh, FTP service uh, from all these servers coming to L2 command prompt first of all we will try to server 1 here is the IP address FTP username Cisco password Cisco we able to access the FTP service from server 1 now we will try to server 2 FTP IP address username Cisco password Cisco we able to access now we'll try to server 3 FTP to server 3 trying to connect it's a TCP server so we are unable to connect yes it's correct also we will try to ping to uh, the interface G0 slash 2 on the device uh, R1 ping to that interface here we can see we are getting the replay here we can see the first policy we implemented is working now uh, that is a host from the 192.168.0.0/24 network are unable to access any tcp service of server 3 hence we have seen this uh, uh, device l2 uh, was unable to access uh, the web page or the FTP service uh, from this uh, server 3. Now we will go to part 2 troubleshoot ACL issue 2 host from the 10.0.0.0 slash 8 network are intentionally unable to access the HTTP service of server 1 uh, but should not be otherwise restricted. Coming to step 1, determine the ACL problem. As you perform the following task, compare the results to what you would expect from the ACL. Coming to A, using L3, attempt to access FTP and HTTP services of Server 1, Server 2 and Server 3. Coming to a topology, uh, actually here uh, the policy is this network, that is 10.0.0.0 slash 8, unable to access the HTTP service of this Server 1. Now we will come to L3 and we will try to access the uh, web page from the servers, so server 1, server 2 and server 3. Desktop, web browser, you will we'll get the IP address of server 1. Here we can see we are getting the web page. Now we will try to server 2. We are getting the web page now we'll try to uh, server 3 we are getting the web page now we will try to access FTP service from all the servers first of all we will let do uh, from this server 1 FTP service yes we are getting we are getting the FTP service from a server 1. Now we will try from server 2. FTP to server 2. Here we can see we are able to access FTP service from server 2. Now we will come to server 3. FTP to 
FTP to server 3. Be able to access FTP service from server 3 to coming to B using L3 ping server 1, server 2, and server 3. First of all, we will get the IP address of server 1. Ping 2, server 1. Here we can see we are getting the replay. Now we will get the IP address of server 2. Ping 2, server 2. We are getting the replay. Now we will get the IP address of server 3. Ping 2, server 3. We are getting the replay. Coming to C. View the running configuration on R1. Examine access list 10 underscore 2 underscore 172 and its placement on the interfaces. Is the access list placed on the correct interface and in the correct direction? Is there any statement in the list that permits or denies traffic to other networks? Are the statements in the correct order? We will check all this. Coming to the router R1. Here we are going to give show running config and we will check the details here we can see uh, the access list extended 10 underscore 2 underscore 172 here we can see deny tcp and here we can see the network address uh, then the uh to, it's while the card bits then here we can see the host and we are going to deny this uh, www that is http service and we are permitting IP any any so it's correct also we will check show IP access list and here we can see the order it's correct coming to our topology here we, are, we can see this uh, network uh, is going to uh, deny accessing the web page uh, from this server uh, 1 coming to a topology here we are going to deny this network that is 10.0.0.0 slash 8 accessing uh, the web page or uh, this uh, www uh, from this server 1 here we can see uh, this is our source and here is a destination uh, so we have to implement uh, this access list on this interface uh, that is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 in the direction inbound we will check that details uh, in our uh, show command here we can see that uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we can see the direction uh, here they given out so we must give us in coming to d run other tests as necessary uh, anyway not required now we will come to step 2 implement a solution make an adjustment to access list 10 underscore 2 underscore 172 to fix the problem right so only we have to change the direction uh, from the interface we have to go to configure terminal then interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 then we have to remove that uh, direction no ip access group then we have to give the name of that access group here we can see that then uh, the direction uh, what they given is out and we have to give ip access group access list to name then inbound direction now we will check the show running config and we will check the details here now we can see it's correct in direction Coming to step 3, verify the problem is resolved and to document the solution. If the problem is resolved, document the solution, otherwise return to step 1. So here uh, we, we have seen the policy uh, host from the 10.0.0.0 slash 8 network are unable to access the HTTP service of server 1. So we will get the IP address of server 1. Here is that. And we will try to access the web page from this L3. 
here we can see now we are unable to access uh, this uh, web page from server 1 request timed out now we will come to part 3 troubleshoot acl issue 3 hosts from the 172.16.0.0 slash 16 network are intentionally unable to access the ftp service of server 2 but should not be otherwise restricted coming to step 1 determine the acl problem as you perform the following task compare the results to the expectations of the acl coming to a using l1 attempt to access ftp and http services of server 1 server 2 and server 3 here the policy is so this network that is 172.16.0.0 uh, network is not allowed to access FTP service uh, uh, of the server 2. First of all we will try to access HTTP uh, from the servers. We will get the IP address of server 1 and coming to L1 desktop web browser we are getting the web page now we will get the IP address of server 2 we are getting the web page now we will get the IP address of server 3 we are getting the web page now we will try to uh, access uh, FTP here is the IP address of server 1 FTP server address Oops. here username is Cisco password is Cisco here we able to access the FTP service from server 1 now we will get the IP address of server 2 FTP here also we able to access the service now we will get the IP address of server 3 be able to access the FTP service according to our policy we know that uh, this network is not allowed to access uh, FTP service uh, of uh, this server 2 but here we have seen we able to access uh, that FTP service here we have, we have seen that coming to B using l1 ping server 1 server 2 and server 3 here is the ip address of server 1 ping to server 1 here we are getting the replay now we will get the ip address of server 2 ping to server 2 we are getting the replay now we will try to server 3 we are getting the replay now we will come to C view the running configuration on R1 examine access list 172 underscore 2 underscore 192 and its placement on the interfaces is the access list placed on the correct port in the correct direction? Is there any statement in the list that permits or denies traffic to other networks? Are the statements in the correct order? We will check all this. Coming to our topology, here we can see the network. Here is the source and uh, uh, here is the destination that is server 2. So we have to implement uh, this uh, access list uh, on this uh, interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 or this router r1 in the direction inbound now we will see this access list configuration show running config and we will go to that interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see that ip access group then access list name uh, in the direction in it's correct 
now we will come to the access list here we can see that IP access list extended 172 underscore 2 underscore 192 here we can see the first line they given permit IP any any here all traffic is allowed first itself here the order of the statement is wrong we can see the order of the success list once more properly uh, using the command show IP access list and here we can see that here it comes first then it's second here we can see uh, we have to reorder the statements so that the permit IP any any is the second statement coming to D run other tests as necessary anyway not required now we will come to step 2 implement a solution make an adjustment to access list 172 underscore 2 underscore 192 to fix the problem we will do that now configure terminal here we are going to give IP access list it's extended and here we can see the name of that access list we will copy this uh, name and now we are going to uh, remove this line we will remove this uh, permit we will remove this line no then that line now we are going to add it uh, uh, with the, the greater number than this 20 better we will give 25 here permit IP any any and now we will see the order show IP access list and here we can see now this command comes at second coming to step 3 verify the problem is resolved and to document the solution if the problem is resolved document the solution otherwise return to step 1 right now we will try to access uh, this uh, server 2 uh, I mean this FTP service of server 2 from this network we will get the IP address of server 2 then we will come to L1 and now we will try to access this FTP service of server 2 here is the IP address it's trying to connect now we are unable to access FTP service now the third policy is also working perfectly that is uh, host from the 172.16.0.0/16 network are unable to access the FTP service of server 2 well that's all in this packet tracer activity that is uh, troubleshooting IPv4 ACLs here we can see completion status 90 out of 90 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share to your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video information directly into your gmail thank you